equity for women. Thank you, and uh, important topic, and one which I learned a great deal about, uh, particularly as I was serving as governor of my state, because I had the, the chance to pull together a cabinet, and uh, all the applicants seemed to be men. And I, and I went to my staff and I said, how come all the people for these jobs are, are all men? They said, well, these are the people that have the qualifications. And I said, well, gosh, can't we, can't we find some, some women that are also qualified? And, uh, and so we, we took a concerted effort to go out and find women who had backgrounds that could be qualified to become members of our cabinet. I went to a number of women's groups and said, can you help us find folks? And they brought us whole binders full of uh, uh, women. I was proud of the fact that after I staffed my cabinet and my senior staff, that the University of New York uh, in Albany did a survey of all 50 states and concluded that mine had more women in senior leadership positions than any of the state in America. Now, one of the reasons I was able to get so many good women to be part of that team was because of our recruiting effort, but number two, because I recognized that if you're going to have women in the workforce, that sometimes they need to be more flexible. My chief of staff, for instance, I had two kids that were still in school. She said, I can't be here until 7 or 8 o'clock at night. I, I need to be able to get home at 5 o'clock so I can be there for making dinner for my kids and being with them when they get home from school. So he said, fine, let's have a flexible schedule so you can have hours that work for you. We're going to have to have employers in the new economy, in the economy I'm going to bring to play, that are going to be so anxious to get good workers, they're going to be anxious to hire women. In the, in the last uh, four years, women have lost 580,000 jobs. That's the net of what's happened in the last four years. We're still down 580,000 jobs. I mentioned three and a half million women more now in poverty than four years ago. What we can do to help young women and women of all ages is to have a strong economy, so strong that employers are looking to find good employees and bringing them into their workforce and adapting to a, fle a flexible work schedule that gives women the opportunities that, that they would otherwise not be able to, to afford. That this is what I've done, it's what I look forward to doing, and I know what it takes to make an economy work. And I know what a working economy looks like. An economy with 7.8% unemployment is not a real strong economy. An economy that, uh, that, that has 23 million people looking for work is not a strong economy. An economy with 50% with of kids graduating from college that can't find a job or a college-level job, 